Iraq is striking a chord with our local military men and women. News 10's Carlos Aceto explains that one group believes today's tragedy could have been prevented. The attack in Tennessee has sent shockwaves throughout military recruiting centers nationwide. It's shocking, to be honest. Daniel Barnes came to this recruiting office in Sacramento to enlist with the Navy. He can't fathom why someone would target the military. Hey, why in all places? Why would you do it in somewhere where there's personnel that are trained to deal with guns. It could have been me. It could have been a friend of mine. The tragedy hits close to home for Navy veteran Scott Rapp, who, like many, joined the military at a recruitment center. Your heart just goes out to the entire military community, to their families, to their loved ones. And while federal officials are still working to determine a motive for the shooting, a local group Rapp is involved with believes a tragedy could have been prevented. Move America Forward has been saying for years now that we want more uh, security around military recruiting centers and military bases. Move America Forward calls itself a pro-troop organization dedicated to supporting military men and women while defeating terrorism. The group's critical of a policy that prohibits weapons in military centers. We should give our military the ability and uh, uh, allow them to protect themselves while they're on military installations or even on uh, military recruiting centers that are open to the public. And while the investigation continues into whether the alleged gunman had ties to foreign terrorists, troops are being vigilant. 